Melania just revealed what Michelle did in the White House dining room and it's disgusting. The White House has recently undergone some extensive renovations that took nearly a month to complete. While we thought all the changes had been revealed by now, Michelle Obama's disgusting secret about what she did in the White House dining room didn't come out until now. The changes to the White House were immediate once class moved back in with the Trumps after the election and replaced the Obamas. They've made some physical changes to the place as well to better suit their personal tastes. This didn't just uncover the foul cockroach problem Barack and his family allowed to fester for eight years, and revealed what Michelle left behind in the formal dining area as well. When Barack Obama first became president, he and Michelle were given the same design honor that Donald and Melania got upon taking up residence in the West Wing. Each look reflects the first family, and Michelle's unattractive touches to the dining room were certainly representative of her. The girl new sources praised the appearance of this space while overlooking the obvious. Now, that the Obamas are out and their decorations have been replaced with real elegance, the contrast between Michelle and Melania is glaring. Redoing the room to look more like a college dorm space, the Obama tossed up some tacky art, ugly drapes, and rolled out a really unattractive rug. It's almost as nauseating to look at as Michelle. Even if the items in the room are pricey, it doesn't mean it's pretty, and the changes they made really cheap in the historical space, like the Obamas themselves did. News outlet Faviosa obviously sees it differently, preferring Michelle's nasty style over what they Trumps have recently done. The Obamas are no longer residents of the White House, but their accomplishments will never be forgotten. Michelle Obama has achieved a lot while she held the post of the First Lady, but design lovers still cannot stop talking about the epic change she made to the old family dining room in the White House, Fabiosa reported in a piece explaining how you too can convert your living space to look like Michelle's. What was even more fascinating about this transformation was how easy it was to achieve. You'll assume that completely making over a room will involve tossing out furniture and taking drastic measures. But Obama proved that this does not always have to be the case. Once upon a time, the old family dining room had an outdated traditional look and feel to it. But before she left the residence, Michelle Obama made sure she changed that and transformed it into a chic, modern area. Here are the three main things she did and how you can do the same, the outlet explained. The source listed out the changes that Michelle made that you can copy, if you want your home to be tacky. All you need to do is paint the walls, switch out the stately drapes and area rug for cheap ones which don't coordinate with the room at all and hang some mismatched and out of proportion art. Nothing in the room that Michelle customized coordinates and looks like she's trying too hard to be hip, which for that reason, the room is an accurate reflection of the former first lady. Michelle Obama did not have to throw away the furniture that was once there, Fabiosa noted. She simply adopted some changes to the room around them, and we can see great difference that was made. There's nothing to praise or want to replicate about this space that completely cheapens the classy dining room of the most iconic home in America. It's actually an insult to the history of this space to design it the way Michelle did, treating the room like her husband did the country, with complete disregard to the foundation. It's no wonder it took nearly a month to restore the White House to its former glory with the Trumps living there now. Barack and Michelle were apparently okay with living in this space they made a mess of, as they didn't get the renovations done in the eight years they were there and just masked it with tacky items. Mr. Trump, wanted to bring back the luster and the glory of the White House, an unnamed White House official told CBS News. The president has done just that with extra touches to the newly renovated White House, bringing it back to its former glory that Barack and Michelle had no respect for. The difference in these two presidents and first ladies is more than just their politics, it's attention to aesthetic details and appreciation for the people's house that the country can be proud of. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. Comments.